Welcome to Live 365 Support, where we help you with your broadcast journey. Today, we are going to talk about clock wheels. Now, what are clock wheels? Well, think of clock wheels as a template script using your categories and your music types for generating playlists, but with infinite possibilities. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, why don't we make one together? On your Live 365 dashboard, look to the left-hand side and select clock wheels on the navigational sidebar. Don't worry if it's empty, that's why we're here. So, let's go add a clock wheel by clicking the Add Clock Wheel button on the top right-hand corner. Welcome to the clock wheel creation page. As you look below, you will see it gives you the option to adding a clock wheel entry. Click on that and a menu will appear. I'm feeling like creating a 90s block. So I'm gonna click on the categories, select 90s, and then as for algorithms, I'm gonna be choosing random for now. After selecting that, it will appear in your clock wheel. I'm gonna do the same thing again by adding a clock wheel entry, go to my categories, choosing 90s yet again, and you know what? I'm gonna make it random one more time, but you are the broadcaster, so you can choose whatever you want. As for my third entry, I'm thinking of adding an ad. I'm gonna stick with a 30 second one for now. After a couple of minutes, your clock wheel will soon look like this. But what if there's some things you wanna move around, or maybe some things that were a mistake and you wanna get rid of it? Well, that's easy. For the things you wanna move around, just simply click and drag and drop. And for the things that shouldn't be there, well, just click on that little trash can and boom, it's gone off your clock wheel. Now, do keep this in mind about clock wheels. Having five to six entries can still make your clock wheel quite powerful and great for your station, since it'll just repeat the pattern when it gets to the bottom. So you really do not need to have a clock wheel with 30 entries. Think simple, it will go a long way. Once you are happy with the clock wheel, don't forget to give it a name, then select the save button on the bottom left-hand corner. Now that we have this brand new clock wheel, why don't we go schedule it? by going to the left-hand side and select Events. Here on your event calendar, go to the bottom right-hand side and click Create Event. It will open up a menu where you will have to fill out a few things, such as the name of the block, the date you wanted to start, the duration, but most importantly, Source. There you will see Playlist. Click on that, then choose Clock Wheel. Then we will choose the clock wheel we just made. Something to keep in mind when you create a brand new event with a clock wheel, if you make it reoccurring every day, the set list will be completely new. Giving you the broadcasters the power to tune a block period to whatever you want, but without having to worry about creating a playlist every single time. With that said, you now know how to create a clock wheel and know how to schedule it in your events. We hope you have a great day and happy broadcasting.